depression apartment. Um, I sometimes when I haven't uploaded in a few weeks or several weeks, it takes, um, it gets me, it takes a little bit to sort of get the ball rolling and get me in the groove of uploading. So I wanted to do that. Um, this, the past, um, two months, I, it doesn't even feel like October and November have happened, really. Um, but October and November have been just horrible months. <laughs> Um, for, you know, people from all walks of life, um, but specifically, I am a, you know, non-binary slash, like, transmasculine person who is also Muslim, and I live in New York, and, um, it's just been really, really horrible. Um, one thing that I have been sort of speaking with my friends about is the, um, the need that many people who come from poor families and poor neighborhoods and immigrant families, their need to save everything and use every single last drop. You can see my Tascam is in a cup of rice because um, the battery corroded in the like three weeks I didn't use it or something. And I was like, I hope I can save this. I don't know. I have to use every single last drop of the olive oil. Um, every single last drop of the honey, the, the want to, um, sort of make use of everything is almost burdenous, and it comes from, um, you know, having that background that so many people do have. Um, I have a friend who is Russian, a friend who is Chinese, and we all sort of share in this, I don't want to say weird, but, um, experience, you know? I think that, for me, um, the, the kitchen stove, or I don't have a stove anywhere else, I don't really know why I described it like that, is a real contender for the thing that I am, like, the most shameful about, like, ashamed of, because I understand that I can just wipe down things the moment they happen, and that that's the smart thing to do, but I just don't. Um, I, I let things, like, and it just comes from, yeah, being exhausted after work, you know, um, long, day at work, long commute, it takes me like an hour and a half to go to work and an hour and a half to get back, and I work eight hours, so yeah, if you are struggling with that, you are not alone at all, I think we are all struggling with it, and just, so many people have just done it because their entire life was work, and why would they worry about anything else? You know, it just, it was what everybody did. Um, so if you're struggling with that, you're not alone. I know I just said that, but I wanted to reiterate that. I did want to note that I am wearing the blue surgical gloves. I know that cleaning gloves exist. I think that the hardest part of depression is those tasks where, where you know, okay, I need to clean my stove, but I need my reusable cleaning gloves, I need to buy new ones. So then you don't clean your stoves because you only have surgical gloves, like, be, when I say be kind to yourself, I mean make things easy for yourself. You are not going to, you know, destroy the planet by using one pair of blue 
use surgical gloves to clean your house. It's, it's gonna be okay, okay? <laughs> Just make things easy for yourself. So here is my nail, which broke off while I was cleaning. Um, so now let's, let's talk about other things that are hopefully not as serious. That is my Tascam in a cup of rice. I had intended to speak to the camera while I was doing this, and then I pulled out my ca Tascam, and it was corroded. Oh my god. It is so fun when my equipment just stops freaking working out of nowhere. Um, but I, um, basically, yeah, the, what else can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Um, I think that online, even to this day, right, we watch these people, these influencers who have impeccable, clean apartments, and you don't, when someone disappears online, um, it is, that's probably when their apartment looks the most like how they don't want people to see it, how they don't want people to see themselves, um, and, you know, I, I'm always real with you guys, so I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so this is my apartment, um, in the ugly, you know, um, just, I think that when you sort of become engulfed in depression, you, um, you go into survival mode in a lot of ways, um, and I wanted to show you guys this because it just, like, it, it's something that people, you know, there's so much shame in having a mess, um, being messy, that it's a failure to you, it's, something that, yeah, you have failed at as an adult to have a messy apartment, but, um, you have not failed. You know, so many people struggle and we pretend like it isn't a struggle to keep up with every single day, you know? You, it's okay to turn off the news sometimes. It's okay to, um, get offline sometimes. Um, I'm not saying do not stay aware. Um, I'm saying that keep yourself aware, but there is only so much that you can do to support those who are disenfranchised in our society and other societies. Um, if you are not, you know, mentally well, um, it's, it's sort of a very fine line to tread, you know, doing enough. It, I think that, um, there was this video that went viral on TikTok, and, um, it was this girl, she was saying, um, she, I think she was 21 or 22, and she had just gotten her first office job, and it was a good job also, I think, in Manhattan, but I think she lived in New Jersey, um, and, you know, she was just expressing something that I feel like was not something controversial, um, my co-worker, she, I think she just turned 60, and she always says, she even said to me a couple months ago, she said, Saturday evening, 
she feels anxiety that the weekend is over and she hasn't done enough today and tomorrow she has to get ready to go back to work basically so um yeah this mm -hmm. this idea that only young people don't like to work young people can't complain about the things that they are experiencing um it's it's completely false mm -hmm. and if you feel like that you should not feel guilty or bad um because it's that is something that so many people deal with um my i have a younger brother i have three brothers actually um i have two brothers that are in their very early 30s they're 31 and um not that 30 and 31 and my younger brother is 19 and it really concerns me because um you know i i have my own struggles as someone who's born um a fab um but men also you know they there's such a stigma against men um speaking about their feelings even to this day it's gotten better but you know it's very stigmatized men speaking about their feelings and that's why and i have so much anxiety about my brothers um you know, just, it feels like to be human is to worry constantly. Um, so, I don't know if you, if you feel like, hey, I'm struggling, just know that you are not alone. You're never alone, honestly. Um, you know, I remember, um, ten, maybe plus years ago um we used to laugh like why why does these facebook groups they just have like um the most relatable like specific thing to my experience i've ever seen but and then nowadays when we see like weird relatable um things on tiktok and stuff like that it's you know the common comment is um quote unquote i have never experienced a single unique thing in my entire life and yeah it's it's just very funny please ignore my butt <laughs> in the frame i thought that this was a cool thing to do or like because yeah you should buy an air purifier it's really really good <laughs> um i don't know buy an air purifier it it really helps um i i guess maybe i can i can end off with some um some tips of things that you can you know can help you through this sort of trying time um and it's you know be kind to yourself 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 i think um one thing of advice that i can give you guys would be to be kind to yourself um you know, if your apartment is super messy, um, it's okay. Um, honestly, in this video, I do not finish cleaning up my entire apartment. It is really, really hard. Um, if you're working 40 hours a week, some of you guys are even working more than that. It is okay. It's okay that you are, are not getting everything done 
honestly, I think it's, it's probably impossible to get every single thing done. It is so hard. Um, but I think that you need to celebrate the small victories. Um, obviously, you have to have the bigger picture in mind. Whether the bigger picture is getting your apartment clean or something else. But if today you can only clean your coffee table, that is a win. If today you can get out of bed, that is a win. You know, don't let other people's success, you know, make you feel worse about yourself because everybody's journey is different. Um, I have some friends who, you know, it's, it's almost impossible not to compare, um, our anything, really. Um, and, you know, I just, what is that thing that people say? Comparison is the theft of all happiness or joy. Um, so, just keep on keeping on. This looks like a nipple. My lamp looks like a nipple, oh my god. What if my apartment is just... You know what, never mind. <laughs> it also looks like an eyeball. You are a work in progress, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, I bid you adieu. I will be uploading next week. I do have some exciting news. I, um, one of the things that I has sort of been frustrating over the past year is that I travel a lot, not necessarily for work, but my grandparents um, they live in Connecticut, and my grandfather on my mother's side has been sick, and a lot of my family live in Canada, so I'm sort of always in Toronto, in Connecticut, on the off chance that I'm in New York. Um, I'm, you know, bustling, trying to get things done, um, I have a ton of dietary restrictions, so I cook every single day. So it's it's a lot, but I bought a new laptop so that I can edit sort of on the go. Um, so yeah, that's it's a small update, a small success um, that I can share with you guys. So uh, that's my don't look at me. <laughs> And here is my bedroom. You can see there's lots of shit on the ground. Um, basically, yeah, on my chair, that is a strondemon, a sh Ikea strondemon. Um, I, I literally just had a ton of clean <laughs> clothes, which is so stupid, because, like, to wash your clothes, but yeah, I wash my clothes, I do this all the time, I wash my clothes, I fold them up on my bed, and then I leave them there, and I'm like, what, why, why did I do that, and then it's time to go to sleep, and I'm like, oh, surely I will put the clothes away so that I can sleep on my bed, do you think that I do that? No, I do not. I put them on the chair, the chair that I bought, so that when my friends come over, I could get ready and get into cosplay with them and get, get like, you know, we could socialize in my room. I, it has never been used because there is always clean clothes on them or clothes that have been worn once. Why does everybody do this, you know? I don't know. Um, but anyway, this was filmed one week ago, and guess what? There's clean clothes on the freaking thing again, so 
it's it's all just it's all just a freaking you know it's all a work in progress all the time <laughs>